review time and it's 1960 yet again uh, I think I've got three or four more uh, 60s movies uh, to review and get up on this uh, channel so bear with me this one is Tunes of Glory uh, directed by Ronald Neem screenplay by James Kennaway based on a novel by the same man Tunes of Glory which was uh, written in 1956 uh, and we've got a slide but briefly let's have a look at the cast uh, the two main characters in this uh, movie are Alec Guinness who plays Major Jock Sinclair and John Mills who's Lieutenant Colonel Basil Barrow there are a number of other uh, very influential British actors of the time Dennis Price uh, for example, he's Major Duke Charles Scott, Kay Walsh is Mary Titterington, John Fraves a Corporal Piper, Susanna York a small part as Morag Sinclair, uh, she's the uh, uh, daughter of uh, Jock, uh, and uh, there will be a slide as I said, uh, and uh, just a brief comment, a brief comment, on the awards. Uh, Canaway's adapted screenplay uh, from the novel was nominated for an Academy Award in the Best Adapted Screenplay section. And it also received numerous uh, BAFTA nominations, including Best Film, Best British Film, British Screenplay, and Actor nominations for Guinness and Mills. So, uh, quite an ex a, a exceptional movie. And finally, uh, looking at the awards, uh, it was the official British entry at the 60, 1960 Venice Film Festival and John Wills won the Best Actor Award at that festival uh, and, and named Best Foreign Film. So I think that just about covers it all. Movie. It's a, a movie about the British Armed Forces in the middle 50s, specifically a Sp Scottish gen regiment uh, that's central to the plot, the quality of the acting, uh, in an all British cast is absolutely terrific. Five star performances from Guinness and Mills in the lead role. It's very much a slow burner, lacks a little bit of plot development to be sure. Jock Sinclair is the com commander, uh, or he's in command rather, of a Scottish battalion, um, which uh, is very Scottish. For example, we uh, witness Scottish dancing when bagpipes are being blown very atmosphere laid and Sinclair's keen on a relaxed group. He does command strictly when appropriate but it's more a sort of laid back style. He is only the acting colonel and the movie focuses on uh, the time when he's about to be replaced by Barrow played by Mills. Mills is completely different in character, uh, very strict. He also arrives unexpectedly and collides really with a sing-along, a bit of a mess party thrown by Sinclair. Uh, and he, Barrow quickly tried to establish a rigid command. Command. He's very much a stickler for rules, a regimented style of authority. And he instructs the battalion early on to start uh, with an eight o'clock sharp uh, uh, dancing uh, episode. And this brings about the first major conflict between Sinclair and Barrow, which is the basic crux of this movie. They do, however, have some mutual respect. Both were prisoners of war in the Second World War, and they were both on the end of some harsh treatment. They're very committed to the notion of service, serving your military, serving your country. Uh, but Mills is determined to assert his authority, and he establishes control. This has a mixed reaction from the battalion. Some are in favour and some aren't. Uh, and uh, that's the sort of mood that we quickly reach. It's come to a head uh, when Sinclair arrives at a bar and finds that his daughter, played by York, is fraternising with one of the members of the battalion. Uh, a confrontation ex ensues and Sinclair strikes the man in full view of everybody in the bar. Now this uh, is uh, considered to be uh, very unruly 
and military regulation dictate that behaviour in public places uh, of this nature should be subject to a court martial. Now Barrow, of course, wants to go by the book, but this divides the group and pressure is then put on him to deal with the matter in hand and not refer it on by a subordinate played by Price. His advice to Barrow then eventually uh, to go softly, uh, undermining the authority of the position to an extent, uh, uh, Barrow being a stickler for the rule book, but he eventually bows to the interference uh, against his conscience. And this symbolically brings together Sinclair and Barrow, has a very significant impact on the viewer as well, and the characters become embroiled in a much more larger than life uh, 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 period of emotion. Uh, they become real characters, uh, to be to coin a cliche, really. And the second of the half of the film, which you'll have to watch, is extremely charged and highly impressive. Great film in the end, this, after a slow burner. So I suggest you get to watch it. It's called Tunes of Glory. It's released in 1960 and it stars uh, Alec Guinness and John Mills.